ugly situations like this where you have uh, lots of powers and roots and things like that are a good time to use scientific notation to bring things under control. We can move the decimal point over uh, all the way to the right of the 2, 5, and 6 by making it 256 times 10 to the negative eighth. We're still taking the fourth root of that and taking the square root of that in turn, but at least then we can do the, the trick where, you know, if you have the root of x, x, y, it's the same thing as, I don't know why I put a times there, it's the same thing as the root of x times the root of y. So this is the same thing as the fourth root of 256, square root of that, times um, the fourth root, square root of that, of 10 to the negative eighth. So um, 256 is something to the fourth power. Um, and it turns out that that's 4. So over here, we have the square root of 4. And then over here, remember when you raise powers to powers, the fourth root of something is the same thing as the 1 quarter power. So this is actually 10 to the negative 8 um, and then 10 to the negative 8 fourths. It makes it a much smaller number. That's actually 10 to the negative 2, because negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So we just divide. Um, these two are still times each other. The square root of 4 equals 2. And the, um, the root of uh, so remember, 10 to the negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100. So uh, the square root of this, again, we can do the same thing. This is the same thing as putting a 2 here. We divide the 1 by the other. Um, that's 2 times 10 to the negative 1. And uh, 10 to the negative 1 times anything is just moving the decimal point over 1 to the left. So we end up with 2. Move it 1 to the left. It's 0.2. Answer choice B.